Today, we're going to go after another Grand Theft Auto 5 trophy, a mystery solved, where you need to solve the mystery of Leonora Johnson. Now, in order to be able to solve the mystery of Miss Johnson, what we need to do is firstly have completed the Fame or Shame mission in the career, where you're then going to have 50 letter scraps that are going to spawn throughout San Andreas. The first of which, as we can see on screen, can be found in the foyer area of Los Santos International Airport. And all these letter scraps require is for you literally just to be able to get to their location, walk over and pick them up. Now you do need to do this on foot, driving over them won't collect them for you. You have to be out of a vehicle whenever you collect a letter scrap. Your second letter scrap is still in Los Santos International Airport and for this one you're going to need a helicopter. Now there are several ways that you can acquire a helicopter in Grand Theft Auto 5. However, the easiest way by far is to firstly have completed the Three's Company mission which is the main mission in career, where you're then, when you're Trevor, going to be able to find a helicopter at the Sandy Shores helipad. Now, other helicopters, you can buy Vespucci helipad and then buy a helicopter, but that's more end-game content. You can also sometimes find a helicopter on top of the hospital in Los Santos, or you can find a helicopter down at Los Santos Airport. But if you haven't bought a hangar, you're going to get a three-star wanted level every time you go in there, which can become a bit irritating. So for me, completing the Three's Company mission and then getting yourself up to the helipad up in Sandy Shores, it's such an easier, more reliable way of getting a helicopter whilst you're going off collecting all of the letter scraps. But anyway, back to the second letter scraps location. What we need to do, obviously, once we've got a helicopter, is fly down to Los Santos International Airport, where just in kind of the middle of the area, you're going to see a large circular platform that you're going to be able to land on. Just around the centre of this platform will be your letter scrap. And just while I think of it quickly, the actual mission itself where you're going to be able to solve the mystery of Leonora Johnson won't start until you've collected all 50 letter scraps. For your third letter scrap, you need to be down on Elysian Island, where you need to park on the kind of lowest area that you can. You're going to find a big blue and white boat. Go up in front of the bridge of the boat, where you're going to be able to find the letter scrap on the deck. The fourth letter scrap can be found down in the terminal area where you're going to need to make your way up and across some shipping containers. Most of which are pretty easy to navigate across apart from the final jump that you're going to need to make. If you're a little bit wary of making jumps, just simply sprint towards the letter scrap and then take a diagonal jump in between the two higher shipping containers where you're going to be able to then collect the letter scrap. Your fifth letter scrap can be found down in the Cypress Flats area, but underground. So what you're going to need to do is go to where the train tracks are and then take a ride onto the tracks where you're then going to be able to follow them down through the tunnel. Just on a little cutout, about four cutouts up on the left, you're going to be able to find the letter scrap on a ledge.
The sixth letter scrap can be found in El Barro Heights. You need to drive up and through into a large warehouse where make your way into the entrance just past the for sale sign. Then go around and look to your right inside a smashed up caravan will be the letter scrap. As for your seventh letter scrap, there's several ways you can get over there. You can either drive, swim, take a boat. I found it a lot easier personally going over there via the helicopter that you can acquire from the Sandy Shores helipad after having completed the Three's Company mission. Either way, you need to be on the northeast side of the island on the beach. Just south of the beach will be the letter scrap against the cliff face. Now then, for your eighth letter scrap, and for those of you that have played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, we're going home, back to Grove Street. And for those of you that haven't played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, firstly, you're missing out on one of the best Grand Theft Auto games that's ever been created. And for the rest of us that have played it, you need to go to the house next door to where Ryder's house was. In the backyard, on the step, will be the letter scrap. Your ninth letter scrap can be found in Davis. You need to head into the large car park where you will see a large green bin in the middle of the area next to some trolleys. On the top of the bin will be your letter scrap. For your 10th letter scrap, you need to be in La Mesa. You need to cross the bridge to where the second pillar will be on the right, providing you coming from the east side. In between the pillar will be your letter scrap on the floor. Right then, for your 11th letter scrap, you're going to need to be in Pillbox Hill, make your way into the construction site, where you're going to be able to jump over a small concrete barrier, you're going to find a ladder, and I hope you're not scared of heights, as you need to be climbing for roughly three minutes up a multitude of ladders in order to reach a crane at the very top of the construction site. Once you've made your way up all the way to the crane, you're then going to be able to go up even further to the very top of it, where you're going to be able to find the letter scrap on a platform. Now, I have sped the footage up here, so you should only have roughly 45 seconds of it rather than the full three minutes, but it still should give you a good scale of what you need to do.
Your 12th letter scrap can be found in La Puerta. You need to make your way under the road to the water below, head right into the tunnel, then jump up onto the first concrete barrier in the middle of the area to be able to collect your letter scrap. Your 13th letter scrap can be found down on Vespucci Beach in a skate park. Go down to the bottom of one of the bowls where you're going to be able to pick up your letter scrap. The 14th letter scrap will be located on Del Perro Beach on the pier. What you need to do is go to the end of the pier, then take a left up the stairs and cross the bridge where you're going to be able to pick up the letter scrap at the end of the bridge on the left. Here's Your 15th letter scrap will be in Pacific Bluffs. You need to cross the beach, then head up the stairs, aiming for the small bridge that crosses the pool to a small kind of poolside bar. To the right of the bar on the floor will be your letter scrap. For your 16th letter scrap, we need to again be in Pacific Bluffs. You need to head through a car park to the lower section where you're going to come to a maze. Once you're in the maze, you need to take a couple of little left and right turns where you're then going to come to an open section in the maze. In the middle of this open section will be your letter scrap. Looking good. For your 17th letter scrap, we need to proceed through the cemetery grounds in Pacific Bluffs to the central island where you will be able to find the letter scrap on the floor in between a large tomb and the kind of little moat area that's running around.
Now, for your 18th letter scrap, which is found in Richard's Majestic, you're going to get a two-star wanted level. So it'll probably be a good idea to make sure that you're at full health and have some armor on, which you can buy from any ammunition. Now, what I recommend you do is head through the film set, taking the first left, going in between the two buildings, then take a left where you will come to a staircase. Follow the staircase up to the top, where you're going to be able to find the letter scrap on the floor in between the air conditioning units. Your 19th letter scrap will be found in West Vinewood. You need to make your way up the stairs from the car park, then go right where you're going to come to a patio area. Next to the barbecue on the wall will be your letter scrap. Your 20th letter scrap will be found in a place called Alta. You need to go down into the building site's lower level to find a large wooden hole. Jump down into the hole to be able to collect the letter scrap. For the 21st letter scrap, you need to be in Howick. Once you're there, head into the skate park, then look to the top right corner to find a half pipe. In the center of the half pipe on the graffiti will be your letter scrap. For your 22nd letter scrap, you need to be in East Vinewood. Drop down into the storm drain, then head left through the center of the three tunnels. At the end of the tunnel, after a slight dip, before going into the water, will be your letter scrap on a ledge. For your 23rd letter scrap, we need to be down on Vinewood Racetrack. Drive around the turnstiles to the racetrack, then head up the stairs and through the tunnel marked Enter. From here, take a left, then immediate left, to be able to walk up through the stands, aiming for the fourth row. Near the end of the row will be your letter scrap on the floor.
For the 24th letter scrap, we need to go onto one of the small islands to the east of San Andreas. There's several ways you can get to the islands. You can either swim, you can take a boat. For me, the easiest way I found was to take the helicopter that you can find at Sandy Shores Helipad after completing the Three's Company mission, and then fly over to the small island. Now, once you're out of the helicopter, boat, whatever way you choose to get over there, as soon as you're on the island, walk north, look into your left, where you're gonna be able to see the letter scrap against some of the rocks there. Now for your 25th letter scrap, you need to cross the hills going towards the Pacific from the freeway where you're aiming to get to a small sandy bay. Once you're at the bay, grab a jet ski if there is one, then head into the cave taking care as sometimes there's some enemies in this cave as it's kind of owned by some sort of mob. But either way, whether the enemies are there or not, you need to make your way over to the left side of the cave where you're going to come to a small sandy island upon which will be your letter scrap. Your 26 letter scrap can be found up in Galileo Park. You need to head down a dirt track behind the large Vinewood sign towards the eye of the Vinewood sign, which has a ladder on the left side that you can climb. At the top of the ladder on a small platform will be your letter scrap. For your 27th letter scrap, you need to be up in Vinewood Hills. Make your way through the grounds to the pool house on the right, where you're going to be able to find the letter scrap just inside the door. For your 28th letter scrap, you need to be up in Tongva Valley. On the side of the road, next to a fruit seller's stall, will be your letter scrap on the floor.
Your 29th letter of scrap can be found down in Vinewood Hills, next to a seating area on the right side of a dirt track will be your letter scrap. The 30th letter scrap can be found in Great Chaparral. You need to follow the track to the first hairpin where off to the left you will find a closed mine entrance. Just to the left of the barred door will be your letter scrap. The 31st letter scrap can be found in Gran Sonora Desert, where you need to head down past a large barn to a wooden billboard with nothing being advertised. Just behind the billboard on the floor will be your letter scrap. For your 32nd letter scrap, you need to be down on Redwood Lights track, heading to the center of the circular concrete platform, where you're gonna be able to find the letter scrap in the center of some metal poles. And for your 33rd letter scrap, you need to be in Grand Sonora Desert. You'll need a helicopter for this one. So grab the frogger from the Sandy Shores helipad after having completed the Three's Company mission, then fly to the top of the rock formation, carefully land, then walk over and collect your letter scrap. Your 34th letter scrap can be found in Sandy Shores. You need to make your way around the back of the motel to where you'll be able to find an empty swimming pool. Near the old water at the base will be your letter scrap. The 35th letter scrap can be found in Grand Sonora Desert. Head into the center of the refinery where you will find a yellow ladder against the left building that takes you up to the roof. All the way up on the rooftop will be your letter scrap.
V36 led to scrap. You need to be down in Great Chaparral. Look behind the church, just past the three white crosses, where you're going to be able to find the letter scrap on the floor. As V37 have led to scrap, we need to be going down the road adjacent to the Zancudo River, where you're going to be able to take a left going down underneath the bridge that you could ordinarily drive over. Underneath this bridge will be a small tunnel. In the middle of the tunnel on the floor will be your letter scrap. Now, as for the 38th letter scrap, which can be found in Largo Zancudo, you're going to need yourself a powerful off-road vehicle, so grab a truck from somewhere and then get yourself across the marshland. Drive across the marshland to the small island where you're going to be able to get out of your truck and then collect the letter scrap, which will be on the side of one of the banks. Now for your 39th letter scrap, you're going to need a helicopter. So grab one from the Sandy Shores helipad after having completed the Freeze Company mission, then fly over to the large rock formation above the Rattan Canyon. From here, you need to very carefully land the chopper and then walk north near the edge of the canyon where you're going to be able to collect the letter scrap. Now, in order for your 40th letter scrap, which is found in the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness, unless you've already taken a hitchhiker to the Altruist Cult as Trevor, which earns you the Altruist Acolyte Trophy or Achievement, this will be easiest in a helicopter, which you can obviously get from the Sandy Shores helipad after you have completed the Threes Company mission. Fly over Mount Chiliad's west section and very carefully land next to the communications tower, making your way around the walkway of the tower to a flat platform where you're going to be able to collect the letter scrap. If you have already unlocked the Altruist Acolyte Trophy or Achievement, the gates will be open and you can simply drive up and through. You won't need the helicopter for it. However, I haven't quite done that on this play for a Grand Theft Auto 5 yet, so I need the helicopter.
Your 41st letter scrap can be found up in Palito Forest. You need to head up past the logging depot, staying on the left path. At the top of the path will be a few rocks and trees to your left. Behind these rocks will be your letter scrap. Your 42nd letter scrap can be found in Palito Bay. Head around the back of the garage where you will find a staircase leading up to a large balcony. On the left side of your balcony will be the letter scrap. Your 43rd letter scrap will again be in Palito Bay. Go around the back of the broken down house to the porch, then head inside of the porch to be able to get your letter scrap. As for your 44th letter scrap, there's several ways that you can get to it. However, the easiest way by far is to be able to use the cable car, which will take you straight up to the top of Mount Chiliad. The cable car on the ground level is found on the west side of Palito Forest and will cost you $10 to ride. Once you're at the top of the cable car ride, you'll then be able to collect the letter scrap, which will be just in front of you on a platform as you exit the cable car. For your 45th letter scrap, you can find that on Mount Chiliad. You need to grab the helicopter from the Sandy Shores helipad after having completed the Three's Company mission, then fly across the Alamo Sea. Land on a small island, then drop down the west side, where you're going to be able to collect the letter scrap, which will be on the side of the bank. You can collect the 46 letter scrap in Galilee. Just north of the Alamo Sea will be a small fishing village. Just to the left of the building with the blue netting will be your letter scrap.
Your 47th letter scrap can be found in Grapeseed. You need to head through the second canopy on the left, then go roughly halfway through it to be able to collect the letter scrap which will be on the floor. For the 48th letter scrap, which can be found on El Gordo Lighthouse, there's several ways you can get there. You can either take a car and swim, or you can just take a boat around. For me, I found the easiest way, as per usual for me, was to take the helicopter, which you can collect from the Sandy Shores helipad after having completed the Three's Company mission. Take the helicopter across and then very carefully land it on the lighthouse grounds. Go around behind the lighthouse where you're going to be able to collect the letter scrap. Your 49th letter scrap can be found on Mount Chiliad. Just off the freeway, you will come to a place called Dignity Village, just through an overpass. Go right, then look in the second tent on the left to be able to collect your letter scrap. And for the final letter scrap, we're near enough at the point now where we can start the mission. You can find that on Mount Chiliad. You need to drive off the north side of the freeway to come to a wooden hut. Look to the left of the hut where you're gonna be able to collect the letter scrap. Right then, now that we've collected all 50 letter scraps, you're gonna to get to read that Leonora was killed by someone called Peter Dreyfus. So what we need to do is go down and take care of him. Once you've gone through all four pages of the letter, you don't need to read it, just simply pressing left or right on the D-pad is enough to get through. Head down to Vinewood Hills, where you're gonna be able to find a Strangers and Freaks green question mark that will appear now. Once you're at the mission marker, you're gonna to get to watch a cutscene, which is skippable, not a problem whatsoever. However, either way, if you watch the cutscene or you skip it, straight afterwards, you need to sprint after Peter Dreyfus and then take the guide down. Now, I'm a big fan of transparency here at Griffin's Gaming Guides and the cutscene that would ordinarily play in the game, I'm only gonna give you the first few seconds and the last few seconds of, as some of the topics highlighted in the cutscene by Dreyfus and Franklin could be very upsetting to some viewers. But obviously, if you've got a copy of the game yourself and you want to watch cutscene, by all means, feel free. It won't affect the outcome as long as you take down Peter Dreyfus afterwards. Fence, but I'm not reading any screenplays. Huh? I mean, you're from the hood, right? You don't want to pick up the guns, because, like, if you pick up the guns, everybody dies. Leonore Johnson. It's not what you think. The one who passed you fucked over after you killed her just because you could. How much you want? How much money you want? I got enough motherfucking money, homie. I'm famous. Fuck you. 
I can do whatever I want. Those are the rules, civilian. So then that's all 50 letter scraps collected and we've solved the mystery of Leonora Johnson where a trophy or achievement will unlock. So then guys, thank you very much for watching. If the guides helped you out at all, make sure you press the like button. It does help us out a great deal. Let me know down in the comments how you're getting on with the uh, mystery solved trophy or achievement. Also, whilst you're down there, please make sure that you subscribe to Griffin's Gaming Guides and press the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of our future Grand Theft Auto 5 uploads. You guys take care of yourselves and we'll see you on the next one.